Lala Anthony, she is speaking out against marriage. Lala Anthony guest hosted The Breakfast Club yesterday, and she gave her thoughts on marriage. Take a look. I feel like currently marriage is not a goal for people. Mm -hmm. I don't hear people who aren't married saying like, I want to get married. You just start hearing it less and less. Like before that was a goal, like mm -hmm. before social media and just the way people interact now. I'm not in conversations with people who are talking about like, I can't wait to meet someone and get married. Now people say, yeah, I want to meet somebody, be in a relationship, you know, have this bond, but I don't need the marriage piece to feel mm -hmm. like it's successful. Okay, interesting. Can you clap? Clap who's married. If you're married, clap your hands. Okay. I don't know if I want to shout you out. Clap if you're happily married. Whoever. <laughs> Y'all didn't sound as enthusiastic, but all right. Okay. Now, clap if you feel like marriage is not really what it used to be. Okay. That's interesting. Because I know that Lala, she just got out of a marriage uh, a, a year and a half ago, and it wasn't like a, it wasn't it ended not uh, well, I think, with her and Carmelo, and um, so she may still be sore on marriage. So I think it depends on where you are and how your marriage ended, the way you feel about a new marriage. And I think that marriage is. I agree with Lala in a, li in a little bit because I think that marriage is different these days. Young people aren't going towards marriage anymore, like we were brought up to do marriage. And then I think also when you hear people talk about marriage, y'all, the married people, y'all don't make it sound appealing because you're like, it's just work. You gotta work. I mean, you know, marriage ain't easy. It ain't for the week. You gotta work. And then you got people like Michelle Obama. She said, it, she, Michelle Obama said something like, it was work for the first 10 years. That's a decade of you working. And so when you hear it, even when you sell a used car, you got to make it sound a little bit attractive. <laughs> So I think that it means different things to different people. So they say, and, you know, but I've, I know a lot of people who are married and they're so happily married because they do the work. They make it intentional to have the date nights. They make it intentional to go to, you know, they schedule their sex. They make it intentional to have a life beyond their kids. Yeah, girl, they schedule their sex. They, that's what they told me. They said they got to put that on the calendar, mama. So I, you know, for me, I feel like for me, I, marriage is not for me. I feel like marriage, I'm gonna lose my more money if I get married. So I gotta, I gotta heal from that. So I'm not trying to get married. I'm not trying to have a baby. I really feel like I want a partner. That's what I feel like. But my girl, you know, we just, like we, I don't, I don't have to necessarily have the ring. I know I'm committed to you. And my girlfriend said, no, but you know, the Bible said be fruitful and multiply. I said, at 56, who the hell am I multiplying with? Like, what? My uterus ain't even fruitful no more. Like, do I, you know, so I was like, does God, did he really mean that one for me, a 56 year old? So, but I think also back in the day, women needed marriage because it was about protection, it was about a provider, it was about survival. And I think nowadays, women are not, that we're not there anymore. Women are now able to take care of themselves. They're able to provide now. They don't, they're not necessarily seeking the protection. So I see what Lala says, but Lala, I do will say, it is nice to have somebody to come home to, to like, you know, put your feet up on the couch, tell that person your day, you know, uh, because it, sometimes M&Ms and Netflix just don't do it. <laughs> like, you just, you know, you just want to curl up with somebody. Some of you got your girlfriends, but sometimes your girlfriends say not enough. And, you, and then also, when you get married, you, those are the people that can make those life or death decisions for you. That's why I want, I do want to get married for that because I'm not leaving my, with my family. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I want a husband to say she got a directive, so we're going to do whatever we got to do. Because I'm telling y'all, with my family, I can have a directive. My directive says, do not put me on life support. I'm go heaven. And my sister Lisa, I will tell she was gonna be like, no, I saw her eyeball move. She gonna stay on life support. And I'm telling you, Lisa, my sister Lisa don't care what you say, I'll be laying there just like this. <laughs> One doggone tear will come from my eyes. She gonna be like, God gave America, I saw her eyeball move. And it's really my eye by going, bitch, let me go. Let me go.
And then my sister Lisa will have me, will pull me out the hospital at 3 in the morning, put me in the house with a, with a husband's family. I'm gonna be in the back room somewhere, and me and her husband don't get along because he was in prison half the time they was married. So he gonna have me in the back room whipping me with a damn switch like flowers in the attic, that daggone book. I'm not... So when I think about that, I want to get married, I'm telling you. <laughs> That's the only reason why I need a husband. So it's not for everybody, so everybody just needs to do what is right for them. And I would say, Lisa, I love you. You know I'm playing, I'm not. You know I'm playing.